Hell's Canyon. This landscape isn't quite as bad as the name would suggest, but there's no doubt it's some of the nastiest country in Idaho. I'm Morgan Mason, Meat Eater's associate editor, and this week I'm tracking the red-legged devil bird they call Chucker with my good friend Danielle Pruitt of Wild and Hole. Pinion, my one-and-a-half-year-old wire hair pointing Griffon, will be leading the way as we try and navigate this train and get out in one piece. Oh, if we're lucky, we'll get a few of these fast flushing birds to sit tight long enough for a good point and a reasonably close shot. I'm expecting a lot of work and not a lot of meat. We're meeting up with my friend Matt Harding from Pheasants Forever, his pup Cedar, and John, a first time hunter. But first, coffee. I'll admit, I was a bit skeptical of introducing a rookie to bird hunting out here. Chucker are hard to find. And when you add this inhospitable landscape to the mix, it can be a real recipe for misery. I came here last year and hunted for Chucker. <laughs> It was hard. I got one bird, but we like worked our asses off for that one bird. Ooh, a little sludgy. <laughs> it's all right. Cowboy <laughs> coffee. Yeah. Well, should we down this and get geared up and get out of here? Yeah, yeah. I think so. I think we're gonna hit the road. Do you want to like wrap back up here on like four o'clock or so? Yeah. Or just check your radio. We'll just yep. stay in communication. Sounds like a plan. Cool. Good luck. Cool. Yeah, good, good luck, guys. Right. Hope you got water. <laughs> <laughs> After going our separate ways, Danielle and I start to burn some boot leather. Let's bump down and let's, let's hunt some of this stuff right here. Okay. And then swing over on that hillside, and then we'll just run that ridge, come around the backside of that mountain over there, and see if yeah. we can find some birds. Okay. Cool. Come on, Pin. He's keying into something over here. Let's hurry up and get up on this ridge. Where the birds? Hunt them up. Do you want to bump up on top of that little bench right there? Up, oh, mule deer. I wonder if that's what Pinion was keyed in on. Well. The vertical climb in this area features dramatic changes in elevation, terrain, and vegetation. But it's really quite simple. Prime chucker habitat includes food, water, and shelter. Yeah, this is perfect right here. See this little depression here in the saddle? Yeah. It's like holds water up here. Like there's no like standing water, but you can definitely tell there's just cheat grass everywhere. It's and then, so green. Yeah, I know, it's like that green up for yeah. one, they eat the cheat grass seeds, like all of these things. These stalks, yeah, they've got little seeds in there. And then down on the floor, you've got all this green, and they'll eat that too. Hell's Canyon is the deepest river gorge in North America. Deeper, in fact, than the Grand Canyon by a few thousand feet. Tectonic plates and underwater volcanoes started shaping this place about 150 million years ago. And right now, we're just battling to keep our footing. Good boy, Pan. Good boy. If we drop down right here and you see that little saddle or like little bench right there with all the sagebrush. Yeah. And then that knife ridge that cuts out to the left from where we're looking at it with all those rock bands and it's super steep. Mm -hmm. All that's chucker country. Let's give it a go. Yep. Cool. Let's do it. Come on, Pan. Let's go, buddy. It's all about body language. I'm looking for any sign that Pinion is picking up the scent of birds. All right, he's on birds. This is my second season hunting with Pin, and we're just starting to learn and work well with each other. Pin, hunt him up. Those birds must have been there this morning and took off. Yeah, maybe. That was like a, it wasn't a full point, but that was definitely like he locked on to scent. Just probably old scent. Ain't that right, Pinjin? Let's go, hunt him up. It's more like find the footing. That's really what we're hunting for here. 
Yeah, that's the trick is like if you get them to hold, you can at least stop and position yourself. When they're flushing wild, it's like there's a 100% chance you're going to be like completely unbalanced. <laughs> yeah. These rocks, if we kind of swoop around right here, cut back to the left right underneath this little um, this little bank right in, yeah. right below us, get out there and then come back Across and circle left top. to right, go left to right on those rocks. They could be anywhere. Yep, that's the fun part. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Did you see that? There's a little rim right over there in front of me. One flew out. They give this kind of chirping sound right when they fly. It's been a tough morning, but it can all change in one flush. Holy chucker. Good boy, Pian. Little too far. Well, the good news is uh, we didn't walk all the way down there. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> We hike all the way down there, which hurts, and then we miss, <laughs> which, which also hurts. sucks. And then you realize how far you have to hike back up, and that sucks. And you just like ask yourself, why are we doing this? <laughs> <laughs> but I think for me that like I know when I've taken, if I've gone on a hunt and I know that I didn't have to work very hard for that animal, I just pop up in a breast and you fry it and you're like, great. But when you work really, really hard for something, it's incredibly gratifying. And you look at that small bird with significant amount of value that you just can't really compare with just something that took no energy or effort. The views that you get are mountain air-esque where it's just, everything's Absolutely. wide open, like it's broken land. It's like the Missouri breaks on steroids where there's way more vert. It's the same sort of broken landscape with all these draws and ridges, but it's all just like Yeah, no, it's it's amazing out here. I think even though like say we missed, you get back up and you're like, I worked really hard. Like that in itself feels good. I mean, why do people hike up mountains, you know, for nothing without a gun? Like <laughs> at least we're <laughs> trying to get dinner. <laughs> Seems way more reasonable than Even, just hiking for nothing, yeah, right? Yeah, but then at the same time, we're burning way more calories than yeah, this bird's gonna give. That's so, true. Calorie deficit. That's true. Oh, I don't know. Well, let's get up on this ridge. Let's just like keep going up and over this. Okay. Um, I know I've seen some like rock bands from like hiking in like sort of on the on the backside over here. Yeah, that looks like, good. Right on top. So let's check that out. The wind's still like, the thermals are still coming up. Um, so hopefully we can get pinion on a side, and get like a side point or something get that scent cone. Okay. So that right. sounds also sucky. Let's <laughs> yeah. do it. <laughs> How old is Pinion? Uh Pin is coming up on two years. Well for his second year man, he's done really well. Yeah. We surely ask a lot out of him. He's kind of like an homage to my old man. So your dad was a big hunter? Yeah, I mean I was and I grew up, hunt? I grew up a bird hunter out there in the Flint Hills of Kansas. We either went to church on Sundays <laughs> or went hunting. Hey, let's go up here. They're gonna be right down there and flush straight down. Let's go. Did you get one? No. Oh shit, I did get one. Sweet. Get a pin. Dead bird. Dead bird. Mark where he's at right now. Got it. Up, oh, he's still following it. Dead bird. Dead bird. Let's go, dead bird. In this wide open country, it's a challenge for a dog to find a wounded bird on the move. There's probably a wounded bird in there? It might be a wounded bird, yeah. I don't think we're gonna be able to find this one. Unfortunately, like right when Pinion was like running around down here, I thought he was just chasing all the other birds that flew off and I hit the collar, I hit the tone on it. 
Yeah. But like right at the same time, that's when I saw the bird in front of him running on the ground. See, the bird was definitely alive. Oh yeah, it was very alive. It was running on the ground. Yep, unfortunately I screwed that one up. We might not find this bird, but I am stoked on that point. Nice! There we go. Dead bird. Did you get both of them? Got one. Felt like it was right down in this area. Yeah. Looking for a down bird. Let's try and hold still for a little bit. Let's try not to mix up the uh, scent. I just cheered like a little girl. <laughs> Dead bird. That's kind of embarrassing. Danielle, did you see him? Uh, yeah, I saw the one you hit, but it did seem like it was somewhere in this trajectory. Uh, I got a feather. He might be on it. Oh, he got it. Good boy, man. Good job. Yeah. That's what we came here for. Good boy, Pian. Yeah, hey, that's my finger. <laughs> Pretty good size. Yeah. That was a huge pile. Yeah, there was probably 30 that busted out this way and then like another group that came over this way. But there's, yeah, probably like 40-ish birds in that cubby. Nice job. Good job, good Ian. Job. Good job, buddy. Good boy. All right, let's uh, see some more. See if we can do that again? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, my feet are getting clumsy. Yep, so are mine. They might be down here, judging by the wind. Scoot up. There's some on that rock band in front of us. Get ready. That was a Hail Mary. Pin, here. Where's the bird? <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah. Ouch. <sighs> here, pinion, here. Hey. Got it. With a few birds in hand and a setting sun, it's time to start thinking about getting back to camp. <laughs> you know he's tired when he's like comfortably sleeping on lava rocks. Yeah, I think I could probably sleep on a rock right now. Well, I say we call it a day. We got some birds. Yeah. Let's go back to camp and cook them up. Yeah, I'm wiped. Come on, Pin. Here. <laughs> You sore. Oh. Me too. Danielle and I are heading back to camp feeling pretty beat up. But I'm excited to see Matt and John, hear their hunting story, and get a campfire going. Is this the hardest hunt in Upland? Maybe. What is for sure is our aching feet, our sore knees, and torn up elbows. We've certainly paid our dues here. Tonight, Danielle is cooking up a spatchcock chucker with a Brussels sprout side. How's your first chucker? Chucker's delicious. What'd you put on the uh, like the base thing? Mustard, a little squeeze of lemon, touch of honey. That was all. <laughs> so after this like this delicious meal, we're gonna have to eat eight sticks of butter just to get the calories back. I know. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the little weight loss here. <laughs> I'm looking forward to the butter. Yeah. <laughs> it's an unbelievable meal. But what we've gained is far more than campfire fare. The reason this tastes so damn good is the work we put into it. Every mile, every fall, pinions pointing the birds, the misses, the hits, all of it, everything. It's the reason we take the steeper climb. 
And that's exactly what Hell's Canyon provides. So if I invite all, all you guys back, are you coming back? Yeah.